Hello, my name is Andrew Clark. Today we're here on the farm of Wayne Atchison um, in Sandholes, just outside Cookstown, County Tyrone. So the farm here is mainly beef finishing farm with strong fo focus on grassland and grassland management. Um, we finish about 3,000 cattle on the farm per year and there's also a suckler, suckler herd within the farm as well. The suckler herd is crossed with the Aberdeen Angus sires. Um, strong focus on paddock grazing. So the total grassland pasture on the farm is about a thousand acres, uh, roughly 500 acres of hill land, rough land, that's mainly where the, the suckler cows are grazed. The lowland grazing platform is roughly about 250 acres. It's split up into hectare paddocks on a 21 day grazing rotation. On the lowland pasture we graze last year's uh, suckler progeny, also bought in stores. So the main objectives for including the multi-species sward were to enhance the soil fertility, to improve cattle performance from the grassland and just to reduce the, the chemical inputs um, to, to the grassland platform. So our first multi-species sward was established approximately two years ago. Since that we have found that there, there's a lot of learning to be done. It's just not, just not straightforward. The management of, of the herbs uh, within the, the pasture is quite difficult. And I think as part of this project, we're hoping to just gain better knowledge of how to manage the multi-species within the sward, just to increase yields and output. Our method of planting here, so we spread off the existing sward, we then power harrowed the sward, and then we um, just left it with a till ready for planting with the Einbach. So this year we have plans to establish our multi-species swards with 16 species in, in the mix. In terms of uh, planting the, the multi-species this year, uh, with quite a few challenges, I suppose the first challenge was actually getting the seed on farm, but once we had overcome that then, it was you know getting the seed into the ground. So um, May, as you all know, was uh, quite a challenging month with frost just late into May, and we, we were just hesitant of uh, planting just at that stage, so we held off then. The, the, the great weather came in June, July. We tried a couple of times, but failed in uh, trying to get get the seed planted. We were hoping to go for the option of the, the Muir multi-drill, but um, we, we tried that and it didn't work out for us because the, the ground was too hard to get the seed in. So now we're, we're in August, um, we're finally getting it planted, and we've reverted back to the, the Einbach here, um, which we used to establish all swords on farm. In terms of the EIP project, we are hoping to learn a lot from the group. I think learning from other farmers is probably one of the best methods for learning new technologies and we're hoping to gain knowledge of, of other farmers' challenges, how they've overcome the challenges. So I think one of the biggest challenges and one of the biggest learnings we hope to gain from the group is around weed control and how we manage that within a multi-species sward. So what we kind of find is that the intensive management style of, of grassland pasture that we're used to somehow needs adjusted to suit the, the multi-species sward. We find that w this group will be a great benefit from learning from other farmers, other farmers with different management styles. Mm -hmm.